Hi there. Now for the first part of this question, we've got to show that the constant for this probability density function then is 1 over 486. Now, not that you have to do it, but um, I'm going to sketch the probability density function. I often find in questions like this that uh, it gives us an idea of basically the shape of the uh, curve. I'll explain why I'd want to do this uh, in a moment, but for the moment what we've got here is a negative quadratic. Negative quadratics, remember, are going to be n-shaped. And we're just looking over the interval 0 to 9. So if I just was to do that, 0 to 9, then I can see that when t is equal to 0, we end up with 81c. So knowing that c is a positive constant, that's going to be up here. OK, so that point there is going to be 81 C. And then when t is 9, this is just going to come out to 0. So what we've got is a curve, a quadratic curve. We're only looking at this portion. Okay, Normally it would just go like that. So it's going to look like this over the interval 0 to 9, and we're told it's 0 otherwise. So I think it's good to be able to sketch these anyway. So it's a bit of a revision, even if we don't have to do it. But... Uh, Sometimes you get probability density functions where you've just got straight lines in and you end up with nice geometrical shapes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in order to show that the constant C is 1 over 486, we use the fact that the area bounded by the curve and the axis is 1. Now, if this was a straight line, it'd be an easy question. We just work out, for instance, the area of a triangle. But being a curve, we need to use integration. OK, so we're going to say that the integral of f of t going between 0 to 9 should come out to 1. It represents all the total probability. So we've got the integral then going from 0 to 9 of f of t, so that's c times 81 minus t squared. It's all integrated with respect to t, and it should come to 1. And c is a constant, so I can just pull that out the front. And then integrating 81 with respect to t is just 81t. And t squared with respect to t, that's going to be t cubed over 3. And we're going between the limits 0 and 9, and that should equal 1. So moving on from there, what we've got is that, therefore, the constant C times, and if we substitute 9 in here, 81 times 9 is 729. And then we've got 9 into here. 9 cubed divided by 3, that comes to 243. So we've got minus 243 there. And from this, we would subtract what we get when we put naught through. Well, that's naught, that's naught. So basically, we subtract nothing, and that will equal 1. 729 minus 243 gives me 486. So we've got 486c equals 1. And therefore, c must be equal to 1 divided by 486. And there you go. All right.